Hello and welcome. And today I'm going to be talking about ignition modules. We're going to go failures, tips, all that good stuff. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I got a brand new ignition module here on this brand new distributor. The first thing I want to do, I want to check and make sure that it actually has some thermal compound under it. Here lately, I bought some new ones, the spares, and they don't come with a little, some of them don't come with a little packet of thermal compound. Make sure you put that under there. A little white pasty looking stuff. And yeah, it's there to allow heat transfer from the module through the distributor for the module to actually cool off. And I do want to check and make sure this one has it. Because the last thing I want to do is put a brand new distributor in and the ignition module fill. And as you can see, it has it. Now, if you work on a lot of vehicles, I would honestly suggest simply buying a tub or a tube of it to keep handy. Because like I said, I just bought two new ignition modules as spares because I gave one of my spares away to someone who broke down at a cruise night. And, well, those new spares I got didn't come with a pack of thermal compound. So, I want to make sure you have some. Now, I just mentioned I gave away one of my spares to someone who broke down. Local cruise night, saw them sitting on the side of the road, and I pulled over to check on them and help them. While we was looking at it, he had a fuel pressure gauge showing he had fuel pressure. Okay, check that already. Pulled the plug wire, see if it's getting spark, no spark. So I instantly thought of the ignition module. Took the spare out of my truck, put it in his, started right up. Now, that's why the thermal paste is so important because they can get hot, burn up, and you'll start having failures. Now I've had one happen to me, of course several other people have. It's on the 80 model with a big block in it. I was driving it. It was fine, it got up to temp. A few minutes later, it died like I ran out of gas. Had a fuel pressure gauge on it, getting fuel. Couldn't get a start though, because it had no spark. Once it cooled off, it started again. So that right there, was the ignition module starting to completely fail. It'll get hot, quit working, then cool down, and guess what? They start working again until they get warm again. And eventually they'll completely go out. Now sometimes they just instantly fail. It's always good to check them. But that's also why I was always taught growing up to always carry a spare. Because you'll be driving down the road and it's like you ran out of gas. Just cut off and done. So, ever since I've been driving, I always keep a spare in my vehicle. Because you never know, it can come in handy. And they're not very big, they're small as you saw, so... I usually already have the thermal paste compound already on the module. It's in a Ziploc bag, so that that paste don't get on anything. And I either got it in the console or a glove box. That way, if all of a sudden I just stop like I run out of gas, I can always look at my fuel filter. I got gas. I'm gonna pull the cap, swap modules, and see what happens. So just. Yeah, make sure you use the thermal paste or compound. Make sure you buy a new distributor. Make sure the module has it under it. They should always have it under it, but if not, put it on. Because you never know. I know some people like to buy the cheap Chinese ones, and, well, I've seen those fail more than anything. And that could be quality, but I've seen cheap Chinese one in, uh, distributors, and... After the failure, pull the module, no paste under it. So that's just a ticking time bomb waiting to happen. So here's my bit of information for you on ignition module. Keep spare, thermal paste, 
if your vehicle dies when it's warm, starts back up when it's cool. Some people will think of vapor lock, but that's not always the case. Sometimes it's ignition module. So just check all that. You got fuel, but it's hot, it's not firing. Very off possible that you got a bad ignition module. And it is a, honestly, kind of overlooked part in my opinion. Because I've just seen a lot of people chase these demons all over the place and never come back to look at the ignition module. Now, one last thing on the ignition modules is something that is uh, pretty crucial as well. Now, obviously, everything needs to be grounded. Usually, the engine is grounded to the chassis, the firewall, something. Well, Whenever you are putting an intake on, make sure there's some bare metal touching the distributor. Obviously, there's a gasket to the base of the or to the part of the intake where it goes to. So, your distributor hold down. Make sure there's some a good connection there where it'll ground through the hold down, the bolt. And as I was always told, you can never have too many grounds. So I do still have the firewall ground. But I am going to add, I usually go, the battery ground goes to the chassis, and then I'll run another one from the same one, sharing the same one, to somewhere on the cylinder head back of the alternator. That way I make sure everything's grounded so the ignition component should live a lot longer. I hope all of this information proved helpful. As always, thanks for watching.